This is the story of one of the most audacious sting operations ever conducted during the War on Terror. How a team of undercover operatives pitted their wits against a notorious criminal known as the Merchant of Death. Western intelligence agencies believe Victor Boot was born in 1967 and grew up in Tajikistan, a remote part of the Soviet Union. Much else about Boot's early life seems a mystery. He had different passports, different names. He was very good at covering his tracks. He didn't make a huge amount of noise to the outside world. Analysts later learned that Boot attended the Soviet Military Institute of Foreign Languages, a feeder academy for the country's vast intelligence apparatus. Well, he was very gifted with languages. He spoke English, Portuguese, Russian, several of the native African languages well. In 1987, as a 20-year-old graduate of the Institute, Boot was sent to Africa with a group of Soviet military advisors. Then in 1991, when the old communist system collapsed, Boot found himself without a job. But as an ex-military intelligence officer with language skills and Kremlin contacts, he was perfectly placed to make a killing. It didn't take him long to realize where the real money was. The Russian state had a vast supply of Kalashnikov assault rifles. Boot knew how to secure them and exactly where he could sell them. Africa. Boot had lived in Africa for five years. As civil wars erupted across the continent in the 1990s, he cashed in on the chaos. Victor Boot wasn't supplying just one conflict, he was importing weapons to war zones across Africa. His most loyal customers were former client states of the Soviet Union. Rebels, warlords, and dictators in Sierra Leone, the Congo, Angola, and Liberia. A multi-millionaire by the age of 30, with a vast aviation empire, Boot's business expanded at a phenomenal rate. He employed more than 300 people, supplying assault rifles, ammunition, landmines, and tanks. Boot's business thrived because he was prepared to supply arms to both sides of the same conflict. And for clients without ready cash, he was happy to barter, arms in exchange for local commodities. Former Soviet military intelligence operative Victor Boot was now a major target of US and British intelligence services. And they would soon discover that his arms dealing had spread into new territory, one that would eventually be his undoing. 